See, when Uncle John joined the Navy, they just shipped everything home? Yeah. Oh, he didn't have very many clothes, but he had worked in Norfolk a couple of three years and joined the Navy there. And uh, he didn't have any permanent address or anything there, so they shipped him to back home to Matterbridge. And why did that choke you up? It was just so sad, uh, Mom especially. She just got so upset. As though he had died? It what? was it was awful to, you know, you know, thinking what could have happened. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it didn't. But it was just the thought mm -hmm. that he's gone to war and something can happen. So, but he wrote regularly and also. Had he and Aunt Helen married by then? They'd met, but they weren't married at that time. I've forgotten what year he did get married. Was they came to Meadowbridge, and I know there was a big snow on the ground. In fact, their anniversary was the 29th of this month, <coughs> which was yesterday. Yes, sir. And we went to Hinton. They got married in Hinton, and then they took the train back down to Charleston. And from there, I guess they went on to back down to Norfolk. Because he was still in the Navy? Yeah, he was in the Navy. Oh, uh, but, oh, it was snowy and bad. But there was a little bus that ran from Rainel to Hinton. And we, we took it. Uh, Sally, Sally Bell cousin was there, and she went. And then she went back to Beckley, and I rode the bus back to Meadowbridge. And, got off and walked up the lane and walked to the house and that's all I remember about that. What was the end of World War II like? Where were you when you got the news? The end of World War II? I think I was at Meadowbridge. Uh, Aunt Emma had come over <coughs> for the weekend. I didn't know if she was coming. And Evelyn, my friend Evelyn, was spending the night with me. And we heard the news, and we were just jumping up and down and hooping and hollering. And Aunt Emma was coming across the front yard and wondering what in the world was happening. Uh, uh, <coughs> there was no place to go to celebrate. You just celebrate at home. Uh, <coughs> so, but life was hard. But life went on. You had time in the afternoon to sit down every now and then, unless you were canning in the summertime or hoeing in the garden or something like that. But neighbors visited. And you went to Sunday school on Sunday morning, and if there was preaching, you stayed for preaching. If there wasn't preaching, you went home. But generally on Sunday, Sunday afternoons especially, in the summertime, well, wintertime too, there was always kids that would get together, we'd play croquet in the summertime, we'd play hide and seek and Andy over and winter time we'd play anagrams and bingo and checkers and go sleigh riding and we didn't have television of course, we made our own fun. We did have a radio but golly I was probably in the 7th or 8th grade before we ever got a radio. 
I remember when we got electricity. I remember our first washing machine. It was green, it was speckled green, and it had an agitator, and you turned it on from the outside of that big round tub. You turn, pulled a lever, and uh, it made a sound like, come, come, governor, come, come, come. He was governor of the state at that time. That's what it sounded like. We had to carry our water and heat it on the stove to wash with. We did not. The only time we had running water was when we ran from the well to the house. Mm -hmm. 